Hey everyone, uh, August 10th here. Uh, it's the same day as my last video. I just wanted to share some of the uh, tomatoes that I picked today. There's uh, quite a few large ones that I actually selected. I'm pretty impressed with the size. It's hard to tell here because these are all quite big, but uh, especially two on the right there, um, specifically this, this larger one here is a, a pink brandy wine, and then obviously above that there's a yellow brandy wine, and uh, the tomatoes are <laughs> they're absolutely enormous so I wanted to uh, kind of weigh them for you to show you some of the size of the tomatoes that I'm getting uh, this one I believe is a Cherokee purple here that's almost boat shaped I have another um, I think it's a purple prince is what that's called I have some red brandy wines over here another um, pink brandy wine and then some some black from Tula tomatoes up here at the top that are uh, again quite large but it's really the brandy wines that I was most inter interested to show. So over here on the left, let me turn this light on. I do have a um, just a normal everyday scale. Uh, let me zero it out just to make sure that we're starting with the correct weight. So as you can see it shows zero. So I'm going to grab this large tomato here and, and just kind of weigh it for you to show you the size of, of, the, of the tomato that I've got. So as I put it on the uh, on the scale, it shows one pound, four ounces. Uh, I believe it did have, uh, I think that went out there. I believe it did have a little bit more weight before. I know it's got a little bit of a split in the top, so it's probably lost uh, a little bit of moisture over the last day because uh, I did pick it yesterday. But um, it's pretty, pretty impressive to see the size that some of these tomatoes get. Um, as you can see, I mean, it's an absolute monster. It takes almost, almost the entire... Uh, entire scale up so it's pretty impressive to see this and I, I want to weigh the other one as well I, when I say the other one I'm really looking at that that yellow brandy wine so as you can see let me light this up again if I can uh, one pound three ounces so um, the last one one pound four ounces this one one pound three ounces uh, these tomatoes just get absolutely enormously large so uh, I'm, I'm very happy with the brandy wines. And those of you who had not had brandy wines before, uh, I will say that they are some of the tastiest. Not just, not just big, um, but they are very tasty. Uh, I tend to eat them raw, if nothing else, just, just with the, the sweetness and, and the, the taste that they have. Um, but I, I do love the size as well. I mean, one of these tomatoes, you can make a dinner on, on just slicing up the tomato and, and eating it that way. Um, I also have... Like I said, one of these um, Cherokee purple varieties. Trying to be very careful there. Trying not to bruise them. So this one, one and one and five eighths ounces. So as you can see as I pan over here, I mean most of the tomatoes that I have here are probably in the one pound um, size area. And uh, except for these, these small little purple prince ones here, which um, I, I did actually save the seeds from the farmers market that's how I get a lot of my seeds I, I know it's very easy to order seeds over the internet and I do that quite a bit but um, another way that I've found that's kind of convenient is uh, obviously just buying the tomato and, and saving the seeds from the tomato at the farmers market I do that quite a bit I've done that with peppers I do that with tomatoes uh, I don't do that with um, squash or other types of things melons things that um, generally are much easier to cross-pollinate and, and therefore not produce I guess I would call it a true, a true seed, a true open pollinated seed that would result in the same uh, fruit or vegetable being put out uh, again the next year. Uh, so I, like I said, I try to save those mostly for save seeds from tomatoes and peppers, which has actually worked out pretty well. And I, I, I'm growing ghost chilies, I'm growing um, um, pimento chilies, I'm growing cubanelles, I'm growing um, a, a whole bunch of peppers that I've never grown before. Uh, all due to really saving the seeds from uh, from from plants or from I guess I would say fruits or peppers that I've bought from the farmers market. So uh, just kind of wanted to to share with you um, the the weights of some of the tomatoes that I've grown, um, just to show you that um, you know heirloom tomatoes in general <laughs> tend to get quite enormous. So uh, not only are the plants you know seven eight nine feet tall in my garden but the fruits uh, that they produce get quite large as well uh, pound in in four and three eighths ounces was actually the original size yesterday when i weighed that 
that large pink brandy wine over here. But like I said, it does have a split, so I think it's losing a little bit of moisture, but that's okay. I'm going to be eating it here tonight for dinner. So um, anyway, just wanted to share some of the size of, of the tomatoes that I grow. Uh, hopefully all of you who uh, grow heirloom tomatoes get the same type of success as, as I do with the large varieties. I'll be saving the seeds from this large one here, hopefully to, uh, you know, continue the the large growth trend from year to year so uh, anyway that's it for now just wanted to share that quickly and uh, hope everyone else out there is having just as much success with tomatoes as i am so th thanks everyone